with the size of the market, with the competence and the skill of so many young Indians and, and Indians, uh, you cannot ignore this market and you cannot ignore the fact that there are great possibilities for the future. I think the main problem with, with India and Sweden is lack of knowledge. This is the India Unlimited and this is the platform that has been created by the Indian Embassy and its many Swedish and Indian partners to bring you the unlimited possibilities for co-creation and co-production including in the field of arts. There was no need to be so depressed, just as there was no need to be so euphoric when things were growing at 8.5%. And that, in fact, this is a much longer story, and we'll have periods of ups and downs, and, you know, that's natural in an economy that is going to grow over the next 50 years. When I came to India, which was 1st of February last year, Scania in India was 50 people. Today we are 300, and when we come to the end of this year, we will be 600. And around the summer next year, 800 people employed. And that's all, all, only for the first step of our investment in India. Whereas India, on its hand, has a large, of course a large market, we've talked about that, but also a large number of very highly qualified, and as Anders Grunström pointed out, English speaking, which of course helps, uh, scientists and engineers. 650 million Indians out of 1.2 billion are below the age of 30, right? They are what I call the Facebook generation. A lot of Indian people eat from their hands. Yes, why do they eat with their hands? Um, because it's supposed to be a sensual experience. So we not, only, uh, we not only smell, look at a food or taste it, we feel it because we touch it. My dream for India 2025 is to go into the future by taking our valuable past reimagined for the present. That's really all I have to say. In a developing country like India, tourism can be the biggest game changer in economy. The Seven Sisters region in the northeast of India, an untouched area. So let's all go together. The world's focus is actually right now on India. If you meet the operators in Sweden and you ask, how many customers do you have? All of them say, like, yeah, 300,000 or 1 million, 1.5 million. When you go to India, everyone says plus 100 million. It's like crazy. And we predicted that in 10 years down the line, in 2014, today, do you know how many we thought we would be, or India would have as subscribers? We thought it would be roughly half a billion, 490 odd million subscribers. And the real number is roughly double. You look at this. This is a great opportunity for frugal innovation. Technology is here also and there. But what are the challenges? How could we increase? If we look a little bit more on maybe the Sweden-India perspective. 500 million additional rural people access to quality health care. This is for a betterment of the society at large, that it's not just a women's issue. And therefore, I think both have to be in partnership. Inspiring the next generation to continue uh, with all the innovation that is so closely linked to the Nobel Prizes and so closely linked to, to everything we, we are talking about today. By using the wood in a, in a wise way, we can substitute oil. To sell the idea to every city that you create a platform for collaboration. <laughs> It's important when you plan new cities, plan for culture. This show is about that part of my country, which is rural India, where all the beautiful textiles come from. We have weavers who are living in villages. It is their trade to weave. When you see the clothes come by in beautiful western silhouettes, please don't forget for a second that they come from the innards of my country, from the far corners that perhaps you and I can never reach.
there's so much more to learn from India, uh, which I've been happily doing since I met my husband, actually, who is of Indian origin. That is why the family named Bata. And that is also, of course, the start of a beautiful friendship between our countries. I'm very hopeful, but then I'm always an optimist. And as Sanju and I coined the word together today, I think we are, we are full of optimization. Optimism and determination. In love, if all of you can come there, and I promise you, food which is equally good as this. Thank you. <laughs>